bathroom, what we've done and how we've prepped it. All right. Now, we've used the Dunlop system here and I'll explain each part. This is how I've done a bathroom. I'm no expert. I basically decided to go with a system. In this case, it was Dunlop and the, um, we explicitly followed their instructions and we had a guy come in and do the rendering. All right. Um, he put a waterproofing product in the render. Now, there's a special glue sealer that I haven't got anymore. It comes in a little one liter plastic container. Uh, that's the Dunlop sealer. The walls have been coated in the Dunlop sealer and allowed to dry. Um, uh, then when that, that dried, we put this wet area tape straight on to the render uh, and it just stuck to that special uh, undercoat. Now we've done the, you can see there we've done the edges. You can see it's raised there. We've done the corner around near the door. We did the bottoms and the tops. Uh, and you can see it underneath the taps and the shower. Okay. Then it was a very slow process. We painted and did enough area and then we use this reinforcing mat, which is also a Dunlop product. It comes in, this one's 20 centimeters uh, wide and it came in a 20 meter long roll. We've used two rolls and this is all I got left over from two rolls. Okay. Uh, you can see that in between. That's a reinforcing mat. We've got, you can see in some places the renderer didn't get, there's a couple of little dings in the wall, but you can see this stuff just went in and stuck straight to that. Okay. And it came up absolutely beautiful. You can see we've done, have a look around the tap, around the shower. There's no, uh, Parts for water ingress, remember, this has got uh, one coat of rubberized compound on top of the glue, the special glue. Uh, then while it's wet, we stick the mat to it and press it all down, the reinforcing mat. And then we put another um, coat over the top of that. And you can see we've come right up into the door corner, so there's no chance of... Uh, any water ingressing into this wall at all anymore. Absolutely none. We've done behind the, the uh, sink area. All right. Now the next, the next step, and a lot of people only just use this stuff. Okay, because it's a high strength, flexible, rubberized, modified tile adhesive. It's also waterproof. And if you get your house built or your shower done by a, uh, a contractor, that is all he's going to use. That. Okay. And uh, we've lapped this over under the old tiles on the floor because um, we can do that because we, actually, we removed all the old render and put all new render in. Um, and then we've lapped the mat over onto the old tiles and the new tiles will cover all that. That's why we, we don't need to replace the floor. All right. So what have we got? All right, we got the render has a waterproofing agent in it. Then it's got our glue. Then it's got two thick coatings of this um, wet area waterproofing stuff here okay and it's really good stuff 
It's got all the corners and the bottoms and everything reinforced as per, there we go, instructions. Um, and of course all this stuff's all designed to work together. There's no miss or matches here. And then we've got the Dunlop Tyler's uh, rubber modified tile adhesive compound. Now all this stuff's really flexible. The um, reinforcing cloth, what that does is it helps stabilize. Um, so in a double brick house, okay, like our, our house is all double brick. As the ground dries out, you can get little hairline cracks in summer and then in winter when it gets wet again the little hairline cracks disappear now if you've got that happening behind your tiles then over time it causes problems and because this was never ever sealed that combined with the um, leakage that we were having into the walls from the shower yeah i got a, my walls developed a lot of cracks i had to fix all those in in the in behind it all first and um yeah with this i'm hoping this will fix it once and for all because it'll allow the wall to flex but will keep the tiles well and truly glued onto the wall okay that's basically if i use the dunlop system that's what the dunlop system says it'll do for me um like i say a lot of people will just use that and that might might be fine if you've got um, wooden walls that don't flex or move or anything like that. But for our particular job, we've spent a lot of time doing the wall prep um, under the tile soaker. I never, ever, ever want to do have this leak again. Never, ever, ever. All right, so that's basically it, people. I shouldn't get any leakage around the taps or the outlet up there. Um, we took a lot of care and now we've got to wait 48 hours before we can start tiling. Um, it feels dry already, you can touch it, you can do what you want with it, but they say 48 hours, so we're going to give it the full 48 hours. Okay? All right, and I, I think the uh, new, new kitchen... Um, Vanity basin looks great and uh, the, we, we just refurbished the old vanity, did it in white and I reckon that's going to look totally awesome, especially when we um, finish with the shower screens and get all the walls painted and we've got a, just there, we've got a, um, a double door shaving cupboard with two mirrors going up on that wall and the PowerPoint will actually be inside the shaving cupboard, which I think should work, should work. All right, keep safe, everyone. Bye for now. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you did, click like. And uh, if you're subscribed, if you can push the bell to get notifications, that would be great.